Hey guys, Gimp King, I'm going to show you how to make a wallpaper just like this in Gimp. Hold on, I'm going to wait till my Gimp opens. <laughs> it's not responding at the moment. Here, I'm going to pause it until it's finished. Hey guys, okay. Now that Gimp's finally open, go to File, New, Create a New Image, make it about 250 or 2500 by one by fifteen hundred click OK and make it like a rectangle this should fit all screen sizes but it'll fit widescreen better and it might you might want to go with a two thousand by one thousand five hundred if you if you don't have a widescreen computer okay now that's what you want to do you want to take your background color your uh, foreground color is black and you're just keep it normal you know now take Take your uh, your bucket fill tool and bucket fill the background black. There, now you get that. Now go to filters, noise, and H eight H S B noise, and make them all way every single one of them all the way up, except for value. Don't make that one all the way up. Make it about yeah. Make that one all the way up. And once this is finished, you'll get something like this, like that. A whole bunch of dots all over the place, just like space. <laughs> a whole bunch of uh, planets. Click filter, blur, motion blur. Make motion blur the angle 90, so it'll make it. So I'll make it up and down, you know. Like, now just make the length till it looks good. Don't make it too big, you know, so it won't make it look super good. Okay, there. Now it's motion blurry. Or actually, you know what? The mind. Stop the motion blur thing. Uh. Whoops. What happened there? Alright. Click Z and or control Z and then uh it'll put it back like that. I'm gonna put another HSB noise on there. Make it a little darker. Thicker, you know. Actually, a lot thicker. I always go to filters, blur, motion blur, and just keep it the settings that it was already from the last time you set it. There. You'll make it like this. Actually, you know what? I'm going to go blur it a little bit more. The length a little bit more. I'll just put that all the way up. See what it looks like now. Ah, uh, it's going to take a little longer. I'm going to pause it till it's done, okay? Okay, guys. This is what it turned out to look like. Now take your paint, your bucket tool, make the mode overlay, make it foreground white, and then paint, paint bucket in there. And it'll make it lighter, you know. Okay, right, now you're gonna take your eclipse tool, just make a circle. I'll make mine like this, like a little oval shape. Now I'm gonna go to select feather. Whoops, that's sharp. Select feather. And I'm gonna put it uh, that much. Click OK. Okay, it doesn't look any different, but whenever you start painting, yeah, it'll look a lot different. Don't make it too dark of a gray on this, but not too light either. Now take your brush and paint. No, uh, make this bigger. Make it over the way. And now paint. Oh, whoops. First, select 
invert it'll invert the selection. So it selects everything except for this circle. Or actually, you know what? Just take your paint bucket tool and click fill hole selection. There. Now select a none. And there you go. It doesn't look perfect. It doesn't look exactly like this. But whoops. But it's pretty close. Just save it. Save as wallpaper. Dot JPG and save. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to save your YouTube backgrounds because a lot of people have been asking me that. Click show preview and image window right there. And just wait, just like drag it all the way up and then just push this little arrow until it says 250 KB. If you can't get 250, just try to get as close as you can. Like this is as close as I can to 250 KB because you can't go over but you can go under see this the most but this is a wallpaper so I'm going to just make it 100% click save X now personalize desktop background and whoops that's not it where did I save it to picture whoops that's windows wallpapers pictures now I'm gonna find it in here somewhere. Here it is. Okay. And there's your wallpaper. Not too bad, is it? Okay. Well, talk to you guys later. If you need any, if you have any questions, please go to my website and click contact me page, and just type what your question is there, and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Bye.